we all know how special Dylan is at receiver for you guys, but he's had four straight games of double-digit targets. I think the rest of the team has had one guy with 10 or more targets in a game. How, important, how special is it that he's being able to do what he does with double coverage? And then do you feel like you're maybe leaning on him a little bit too much in the passing game, or is the balance of his targets to everybody else pretty in the sweet spot for you? Well, you want to spread the ball around. And early in the season, we were able to do that. I think what uh, you've seen is his game is elevated. And it's still, you know, we're a progression passing offense. I mean, it's uh, we don't... Uh, Nobody really predetermines much unless it's pure matchup, zero or one, right? Where everybody's playing man and you got to choose where you think, you know, the guy has the best leverage or the best, uh, the best matchup. He's done a great job of getting open. He has. And I think uh, we'd be, um, we wouldn't be doing it right if the open guy didn't get the ball, you know? So is it, are we trying to just target him? No. Has he gotten more of the, the, the ball thrown to him? Yeah. He's been targeted more, but. It is a product of him being open and, and working his tail off to get to do so. Now, mind you, I think Jalen and Johnny and Schooler have really come on, and, and they're, they're a big part of the offense. Their touches haven't been as, as much as we would like them to be. Um, we expect that to get back on track here in the near future. Yeah, Coach, you talked about how tough Utah is is for a good reason, but they did get beat by Arizona State. So mm -hmm. do you see some encouraging things about how Arizona State and how how they how they beat the Utes? And um, yeah, that's just basically it. I mean, is it is it encouraging to see? And how much improvement do you think you need to, to have in order to beat Utah as a, your own team over last Saturday night? Sure. Well, those are our next two um, opponents, so I have nothing but good things to say about either one of them. And I think uh, regardless of who we play, I'm always going to just respect them and, and compliment them. Uh, what I did see, uh, what we saw Arizona State do is they had, uh, they executed a good plan. They made some really explosive plays. You know, they, uh, a couple of their receivers came up with some monster catches, broken tackles, reverse the field. Um, they did some things uh, in the running game where they're probably, you know, a lot of it attributed to breaking some tackles, but had some good stuff schematically as well. That was a, a back and forth for a while until the quarterback injury. So not only uh, Arizona, but every single, you know, game that we break down, you always draw something from it. You know, you go back several years because there's so much carryover from what they've been doing for a long time under Coach Whittingham that you always try to pick and draw something that might be able to help you without going overboard and getting too far away from what you're doing. You don't want to confuse your own players. Um, but uh, I'm more encouraged about what I see from our team and the way that we played at home. And probably most importantly for us is to play on the road the same way we play at Autzen. That's got to be the biggest point of emphasis for us. You know, we, we focused, we've gotten, I would say, we never were unfocused, but refocused and recommitted to playing a certain way. And we've got to make sure we're dialed into that and carry it through the moment we leave home and get on the airplane and fly over there and carried over to the moment the ball's teed off until the clock says zero. That is what has been what we have identified. We identified in the offseason, got some good results at Cal, and then the other two times on the road, it, we didn't look like us. That's even more important than what we see on tape from, from somebody else. Last question, Eric. I guess just following up on the road struggles, I mean, what kind of things do you, do you think you, these guys need to do to, to perform better and offensively with the snap count? Obviously, they were difficult. You know, Utah's a tough place to play. Do you guys feel comfortable with kind of dealing with that stuff? Yeah, I think that part we solved. I mean, those first three uh, snaps at, at Wazoo, uh, they highlighted, you know, something that we felt comfortable going in and had a remedy pretty quickly. But we were out of sync. By the second half, we were in sync. I don't think the noise was a factor at the, at the other stop that we had on the road. We just didn't play well. Uh, you know, it all comes down to the mindset and the ability to carry out a process all the way through the end of the game and back to the locker room. Uh, that's what it comes down to. It starts with practice. Our Sunday practice was extremely sharp. Our film review was, I felt was excellent. I think the leaders are stepping up, finding ways to get guys in here and watch extra film. And uh, there, I just feel that there's a hunger to take that next step. And probably most importantly, recognizing that, look, that this Pac-12 conference, I know I said it before, everybody wants to be the best. And we have to recognize as coaches and as players that everybody has some great players in this conference. Everybody does. And God help you if you walk into 
an arena on game day not at your best because it's not going to be good enough and it doesn't matter who you are or who you think you are and that is a, a step that our program must take that we must emphasize and get results from for us to be uh, the team that we want to be.